You've heard the phrase, you can't have it both ways. Well, that's not true with copper. Because with copper, you can have soft copper, you can have hard copper, and you can have half-hard copper. Now, we've already covered annealing, softening the copper so that it can be shaped. And in this video, a few examples of ways that you can harden the copper, making it more rigid so that it suits your purpose for your end design. The copper has been annealed. So, now what? When the copper is annealed, it's soft. And this is good because it enables us to shape the copper. But I don't want the final piece to be soft. When I'm satisfied with the shape, then I need to harden the copper. I'll use this shallow copper bowl as an example. In this case, I can planish the copper, which will harden the copper. If you're interested in planishing, I've done some very basic YouTube videos on copper planishing. Before I forget, I've been wanting to mention this. Annealed copper is difficult to cut with any kind of shear. Just difficult to get a nice clean cut because the copper tends to roll over. It's always best to cut the copper before it is annealed. If the copper has already been annealed, using something round like this piece of pipe will stiffen the copper enough so that it is easier to cut. This shape could be a copper leaf, but it's way too soft. By hammering this rod into the copper, this will add strength to the copper, making it much stiffer, as in more rigid. These examples of texturing is another good way to add stiffness or strength to the copper. These are some copper butterflies I used to do. Cutting the butterfly out of the copper annealing the copper, and then forming the butterfly in this die. Now you can see that this has added stiffness. So in the end, we're annealing the copper for shaping and forming, and then hardening the copper for the final product.